man, fucking figure it out, dude. What's wrong with that? Schmarbar, whatever the fuck you guys eat, man. That shit's hella nasty. Schmarbar. It's like the worst combination you could ever think of. Like the nastiest food and then take a shot of schnapps, like, you're gonna fucking puke. <laughs> USA all day. Well, my dad's a carpenter, so I knew a little bit. Of, I knew like the woodworking aspects of it, but uh, I just learned all the concrete stuff from from the skate park guys. We're just a group, a bunch of friends, you know, like who you know eat, sleep, breathe skateboarding, and we just know we all have been skateboarding for you know 10 plus years. Half the older guys who started the company have been doing it for 30 years. There's like invisible lines in skate parks. You know, you, sometimes you can't see them on paper, but when it's all up there, you know, you can be like, well, look, it's not gonna work. This is gonna put you here, or you wanted to, you know, but everyone has different opinions about it, but that's what's good when you have, I guess, eight different people with different opinions, all skateboarding, you know, working together, yeah. rather than just one guy who skates and a crew of laborers compared to some other yeah. skate park company. Now, I don't want to badmouth any other companies, but there's all kinds of, skate park companies who just build shitty shit and take all the money. Just wanting to do it, like uh, having a, our own spot. Uh, when I first moved to San Francisco, I used to live over there. Yeah. And they had this one barrier down by Embarcadero, like an, uh, a barriered out spot with training on it. And it was just minimal work, but it looked super fun. Yeah? Yeah. And I skated that a handful of times, and since then I kind of, like, I, me and my friends have always tried to do little things like that. Just say goodnight, and I'll show myself to the door. Yeah, you see a lot more around these days. It's pretty sick. You know, like, just going somewhere and seeing a new spot. You're like, who the fuck did that? It's another thing, don't look like a target around here. And then, you know, you might be able to last a little longer. Over there where, where the bowl is, a guy got shot a couple weeks ago next door. Like next, next door to where the, all the pouring was going down, it was like middle of a pour. You know, it's a good idea to carry a gun around here. Skateboarding's, uh, it's hard to put into a sentence because uh, it changes all the time. Today it's, it's something to do, uh, keep my mind occupied and uh, Shit, I don't, know. I don't know how to put it without uh, taking away from it. I don't know, I can't really even see past like tomorrow a lot of the times. So really we just barge something and just keep going until we get shut down or it doesn't and just keep going. Yeah, what you put in there is pretty much what you're gonna get out of it. Don't get super wasted out the gate when you're building something and blow it and have a fire the first night. Wait till something's there. Yeah. And then, you know, then you can do whatever you want to do. But, like the building process, you might want to keep it low key. So, it's hit them hard is, yeah. is uh, advice I'd give to anybody trying to build their own stuff. <laughs>